In Gusty Garden Galaxy, there's three apples, and you normally travel on these three apples in a specific order. However, if you go in a different order, some bizarre things happen. Let's take a closer look. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Gusty Garden Galaxy. Now on the main Swanky Box channel, I actually upload a Swanky Box Live video to sort of let people know about the content I'm creating over here. But after I was done making that video, I discovered something really, really amazing. So I wanted to make up a follow-up video specifically for that. And it has to do with the apples that you see right here. Now these apples are interesting because you're supposed to basically go around pound these and the caterpillar basically comes out from each apple. You then walk over to the next apple and repeat. So I'm gonna show you real fast what happens when you do it naturally. Then I'll show you what happens when you do it in the wrong order. Um, it's actually quite terrifying. The game certainly breaks a little bit. So this is right before you fight the boss. Um, we come up here, there's like one, one or two more spikes we gotta hit. Okay, after hitting these last stumps, there we have it. The Capo extends its head and we can take the Warp Star to the boss. Now let's reset this and go through this again, but we're gonna start on a different apple. And the results are kind of terrifying. We'll fly over to the last apple first. As you can see, I'm, Luigi's having a lot of trouble even getting there because there's like an invisible wall or something. They obviously do not want you to do this. We're gonna make it work anyways. Assuming I can get over there and not die. All right, this is the apple we want. Let's go ahead and crash land on it. Okay, so, so now watch this. Let me find the correct stump real fast. Now the caterpillar went from, you know, obviously the first planet to the second. We can't actually see, hold on. But now let's go to the second planet and bring him to the third. So now we've landed. Actually, <laughs> you can already see how weird it is. Um, one, I can't walk up him anymore. Um, for some reason, the collision, not even the collision, the gravity screwed up on him. Uh, he has like this giant boil. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a better view of this. So for starters, his spine is like sort of all twisted up. Um, normally it's just a straight shot. He'll shoot from one apple to the other. But when you screw it up, when you screw the order up, basically... I think the game just doesn't know how to behave. So let's do it one more time. Let's go ahead and take him from this planet and stick him all the way to the end. So again, there's like uh, another bend in him that's not normally here. Um, last time as you watched, I was able to walk over this cleanly and I'm gonna fall to my death because for some reason it doesn't have gravity, but he's just sort of all bent. And I want to say this can occur in a diff couple different ways because this actually looks different than the last time I did it. So let's go ahead and do the final stump on the first planet and see what happens. So now his head's all the way through. Let's go ahead and see if we can walk up him normally now. And then we'll actually reset again and we will do the alternate order. Okay, so everything looks like it's normal now. Let's go ahead and do planet two then maybe plant three, then maybe plant one and see what happens. All right, so we're at the beginning again. We're gonna go ahead and fly over to the second apple. There might be an invisible wall, but hopefully we can get straight towards it. All right, looks like we're able to land. Let's go ahead and get this caterpillar out. So one of the things is like, and I think I, mentioned, I may have mentioned this earlier, like if you go on these apples incorrectly, it is so hard to just jump straight up and get on these. It probably looks like I'm horrible at playing, but like the gravity is fighting so weirdly against me jumping on top of these little stumps. Okay, so now we have the caterpillar normally. <laughs> Still, I can't, the gravity is not letting me leave. Let's go ahead and go to planet three. Don't die, Luigi, don't die on me. Oh, geez. It's so hard to fly. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like hurting my eyes too. Just like, it's all like dashing back and forth. Go to the final apple. Hopefully I won't have any problems landing. Everything looks good. Try to find the correct stump. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> okay, interesting. It looked like... <laughs> There's another... I think this knot's in a different spot than before. I could have sworn last time it went up and around. But I'm not entirely sure. I think that's... I actually think I'm on the correct apple now. Let's double check. Yes, this is the one I want. Let's go ahead and... I think this was the correct stomp. I could be wrong. Come on. Everything should be... Maybe normal now? Let's find out. Yep. Oh, no. Actually, it's not. I can't walk right here. So it's still glitched. Even though all of them are hit. Okay, now let's try Apple 1, Apple 3, and see what happens. Alright, so we have Apple 1. So it's all the way through. How glitched are we? Not too glitchy. I think the, the collision's off a bit. Or not the collision, they're just the gravity. I cannot control this at all. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm like stuck in like, there's like three fields of gravity I'm stuck in right now. They're all pulling me in different directions. <laughs> That's really amazing. Okay, let's try to get to one of these planets so I can go to the next. Okay, we're back to Apple 1. Let's see if we can walk across to Apple 2. Ooh, he's spazzing a bit. That's weird. <laughs> and the game froze. Well, that's really strange. <laughs> so, uh, I was recovering because the game froze, and I went and did the Apple 1 and Apple 3 again, and now there's, like, some sort of weird glitch going on with these bugs, where I think they're on the head of the caterpillar, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, I guess the head of the caterpillar is here. That's really strange. But this one's actually inside of the head and it doesn't know how to behave because it's like just stuck there. All right, so let's go back to planet number two. Oh, geez. <laughs> this is new. So now there's a double growth. Let's look at this from down here. It looks like there's two growths in the caterpillar. So there's, <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> this is what I was looking for, was right here. This setup, you have the two right angles right there, and then you have this head that leads nowhere. That's phenomenal. <laughs> okay, so, Apple one, Apple three, and then Apple, well not Apple two yet, but those are the order you want to get the most, the screwed up um, results. I guess the most screwed up results. Oh gosh, I just feel like I'm torturing him now. This is so bizarre. Okay. So now we have a joint coming out of the apple right here. Let's see what it looks, it looks like inside the apple. Can we... Okay, so it's just it's like blocked up right there. This looks normal. Apple 1 looks normal. So we have the star of the worm right there. So it looks like he just got bent even more. Now it's at like a weird crease. So all these stumps just look like they're graphical glitches because it looks like the actual surface collision is the same because I can walk. Oh, actually, yeah, I can walk across this no problem. And this guy's here. So let's go ahead and see real fast if the enemy is inside this still. Yep, enemy is still there. So this wraps up Gusty Garden Galaxy. I hope you enjoyed this small tidbit. Like I said, I found it after the last video that I made that was on the Swankybox channel. But, um, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see all of you next time. Cheers! Hey guys, if you haven't seen my 5 vs 4 Pizza Man Challenge video, I highly recommend checking it out. It's a video you're not going to find anywhere else, and it was so much fun. So why don't you give it a click? You won't be disappointed.